Details tonight about a deadly shooting that left two best friends dead near Woodward Lake. Police say 21-year-old Gary Perry Jr. not only killed the men, but also tried shooting a third passenger who was in the car. Action News reporter Christina Fan is live from the Fresno County Jail with the charges Perry now faces. Christina. Well, Corey, in addition to two counts of murder, Perry also faces an attempted murder charge. Police say there were three other people inside the car with him, and he never intended for any of them to make it out alive. This memorial site for Brennan Fairhead and Scott Gaffney is rarely lonely. An endless cycle of friends pass by day and night. It's also what makes the identity of the killer that much more difficult to believe. I was just so shocked, like I, I didn't know what to say, I didn't know how to feel, I just felt numb because it felt so unreal. Police say 21-year-old Gary Perry Jr. is the man responsible. He was roommates with Fairhead and friends with Gaffney, yet he's now accused of killing both inside a car while a drug transaction was taking place. It was too, like, terrible to be true, like what? Their own roommate, somebody that they live with, somebody that they called their friends, somebody that they trusted. On Tuesday, police revealed a fourth person was also involved. He was sitting in the front right seat of the car and managed to escape. Police say Perry shot the other two first, then chased after that man, firing at least three rounds. And in fact, during his interview, um, Kerry Perry said that um, he wanted to make sure that there were no witnesses to what he had done. Police say Perry then returned to the car, where he fired more shots at Gaffney and Fairhead. In his confession, he told police he was sorry, but wouldn't explain why. If you wish you would have never done it, then you would have never done it. Why, how could you go back again, making sure that he's dead? That fourth witness was able to escape unharmed. Detectives believe his testimony, along with surveillance video from that night, will make this case airtight. And Perry is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow morning. If convicted of all counts, he could face life in prison or the death penalty. Reporting live from downtown Fresno, Christina Fan, ABC 30, Action News.